Well, across the country, the month of February is set aside to celebrate and learn about black history. But in Florida, that will look very different this year. Last year, the governor signed legislation that restricts certain race based conversations in schools and businesses. One retired professor has vowed to keep teaching uncomfortable truths. Christian Benavides has his story. The first time I came out here. For Dr. Marvin Dunn, the town of Rosewood is hallowed ground, the site of one of the worst race massacres in Florida history. In 1923, a white mob burned down a thriving black community. Rosewood is one of the stops on Dunn's Teach the Truth tour. High school student Janiah Spivey took the tour in January. And they kind of made me angry because these black people, they didn't deserve being killed. Dunn, a retired professor at Florida International University, started the tours after Governor Ron DeSantis signed a law called the Individual Freedom Act, limiting what can be taught about race. You're afraid that they're not being taught this in the classroom. I know that they're not being taught this in the classroom. They're not being taught any kind of history, black history, that could possibly embarrass or make a white person feel guilty. The law referred to as the Stop Woke Act by its supporters says an individual should not be made to feel guilt, anguish, or other forms of psychological distress based on past actions by members of the same race. The state law has created confusion over what educators can say about race. Florida's Education Department recently rejected an advanced placement African American Studies course, citing in part lessons on reparations, the Black Lives Matter movement, and black gender and sexuality. We want education, not indoctrination. The law has also been cited in the removal of books, including Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye from school libraries in Pinellas County. Right now, Florida is the least free state in the union where they're trying to limit information available to, to children and to their parents. Last fall, a federal judge paused the law's implementation in public colleges and universities. No matter the final outcome, Dunn says he will keep teaching the history he feels all Florida students should know. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.